So today I'm back and I'm going to be answering more of your questions. Okay, ready? Here we go. What is the favorite quality that you look for in your friends? Um, I'd probably say honesty only because being in a business like the one that I'm in is tough and, and it's very easy to get carried away and I think that that honesty from your friends and, and is the most important quality when they can be really be honest with you and people that have known you for for such a long time know you from you know when you were that big they don't think of you in in any other way than just as you so it, it's really nice to have people that are around you that that can be honest with you um, about how you act about about the people that you surround yourself with about about everything in your life I think honesty is um, the most important thing. So, what is the favorite quality that you look for in yourself? Um, I think one of my strongest feelings or qualities would be loyalty. I think I'm loyal to a fault. Um, I will stick up for my friends and my family till I am blue in the face. Um, sometimes to a fault. Um, but I think that, that it's mostly a, a good quality to have to be loyal um, and I, I just believe you know if anyone says anything bad about about my friends I'm the first one to kind of get up in their face and and say that they can't say that um, I'm I'm fiercely loyal about my dogs too okay Emmy how do you cope with people trashing your life your career choices and the people that you date it would drive me mad. Um, okay, this is kind of a tough question. It's tough. I mean, I think it's hard to be totally immune or unaware of stuff that people are saying, whether it's um, in magazines or um, on the internet or anything like that. I mean, I think that the choices, the career choices that you make, you make because you love a character or you love a, a kind of direction of music, and that's kind of what it is. Hold on, my computer's going to die. I will be right back. Okay, we are back. We have electricity. This is a good thing. I love modern technology. Um, so the question is, how do you deal with people trashing the career choices that you make and the people that you date? Um, I guess the films you choose because you just love them. and um, I guess the people you date is tough. Um, I guess only I can know what somebody's really like. Um, it's hard to judge somebody just from a picture, um, especially because I don't normally date people who are other actors that you would have seen them in interviews or anything like that. So I can really only rely on my gut instinct and um, what my family and friends and people that are really close to me think. Um, so that's kind of how I do it. I can't say that's not hurtful, but at the same time, I think that you just have to have faith that you trust your own instincts and hope everything turns out okay. Um, Okay, that was kind of a tough question. Next question. Emmy, I know you love dogs. Yes, I'm such a dog person. However, I love cats, and do you have anything against cats? There's a, some picture of you holding a big yellow cat while pet shopping sometime last year. Um, yeah, I like cats. Um, I love dogs because they're more kind of interactive in your life, and they're some, sometimes, for the most part, better cuddlers, and I'm a big cuddler. Um... And cats, yeah, I like cats, although I may be allergic. I start sneezing a lot around cats, um, but has never been proven, so I'm not, not sure. But I have nothing against cats, just do not presently own a cat. Next question. What is one thing that you always want to do but never have time for? Um, probably skiing and horseback riding. I'm a pretty kind of outdoorsy person and I really enjoy um, being on the mountains and looking at the snow and um, everything that comes with skiing or snowboarding, which I do very, very poorly. Um, mostly end up just on my butt. <laughs> um, but I once had a very cool snowboarding incident. One year at Sundance, I was learning how to snowboard and I was, you know, fiercely out of control coming down a bunny slope um, and a really really cute guy came and saved me and when he took off his helmet I saw that it was Josh Hartnett so 
you know, sometimes <laughs> snowboarding and, and sucking at snowboarding can be a positive thing. Um, nothing came of that, <laughs> if anybody's wondering. He saved me. I said, hello, how do you do? And that was it. Um, but that was very gentlemanly of him. Um, okay, next question. What is your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure would be... I used to bite my nails. I don't anymore. Um, my guilty pleasure would probably be ice cream. Ice cream for breakfast. I like, and anything left over for breakfast. I like Chinese food for breakfast. I like pizza for breakfast or pizza topping or gluten-free pizza for breakfast. I like anything that's a dinner food for breakfast. And I also like breakfast foods for dinner. Um, I do. I like pancakes and eggs for dinner. Um, and I like ice, I eat a lot of ice cream in bed watching movies. So yeah, I would say ice cream is my guilty pleasure. Okay, well that's enough questions for today. Um, have a good day and I'll see you soon.